Who will reign supreme in Vancouver in 24? <laughs> 14 minutes to decide it. New Zealand in their traditional black jerseys kicking off. Argentina receiving. And it's taken deep by Hermann Schultz. <laughs> Early penalty against New Zealand at the breakdown. Yeah, good hold there. Extreme pressure coming on off that kick off Herman Schultz. Absorbed it, turned his back, and he's taking a bit of a hit as well. Gets up and touches his head. Not the best clearing kick for Argentina. They choose the line-out option. Tobias Wade been very much a playmaker. He's actually had four try assists the most of any of his teammates in this tournament in Vancouver. We'll see how he performs. It will be Bellandini throwing in. They go to the back. Then come to the front, Asadzu, a lot of work here, just to get the ball away. Big Fen midfield. They know the power of this man. First. Gonzalez, and this time they win the battle. New Zealand, quick tap. Advantage, yeah, not 10. Yeah, not nine Open one. out wide. The youngster stepping, got that left arm free. What a start to the match. Incredible work from New Zealand right out of the gate. And Joe Weber gets his third try here in Vancouver. Well, he receives a pass off the young man, Cody Boy's been on fire. But look at Scott Curry going to work. He realizes the situation, gets straight on that ball, neutralizes Gonzalez, gets the turnover. Amanaki takes it quickly. But this kid here on the edge. He's been blowing off the park this weekend for New Zealand. He has been fantastic. And Joe Webber on his 50th tournament gets the first score. A dream start. For the All Blacks, seven. Cody Bai, the provider there, just 20 years of age, as you said. Nice strike, but it slides in front of the post. So just five on the board. And there's the uh, first mention of it, as the women have just claimed the HSBC Vancouver Sevens title. There is the times when they've doubled up. Pretty early for that kind of conversation, KT, but not a bad start. Oh, perfect start now. Argentina just need the ball. Oh, oh. Weber to rush. Rush number two for New Zealand. Oh, the restarts causing all sorts of problems from Argentina. Up nice and high from Lockley Soa. Schultz takes it, Gonzalez can't take it, Joe Weber is straight on to it, the strength of the number 11 and the pop pass from Rush. Couldn't ask for anything better if you're an All Black Sevens fan. Kick is good, off the right boot of Rocco Lissola. Well, you couldn't sit at your training park and draw that up any better. After three minutes, they're up 12 points to nil. This is the over the series head-to-heads 10 times New Zealand win 80 percent of those but Argentina have been very much the form team the last couple of seasons oh still got a lot of star power and a still long time to go they will not panic again Schultz no. grabbing the kickoff more physical hard carrying up the side oh spotted the mismatch great awareness from Marcos Manetta as you said they know how to score. They know how to get back in the ball game. The money man does it for Argentina. And I love the way Santo Gomez Cor has given a license for this guy to roam and jet himself when he needs to. He comes into the Buddhist halfback. And players just make plays. And this is this kid right here. Marcus Moneta. Knows when to turn up, knows when his team needs him. He'll chuck him on his shoulders. Leading try scorer in Vancouver with 10 in the history of the event and one year he's got a big one in the final <laughs> extra is good Tobias Wade adds them An incredible winning streak this season on the HSBC World Series only two losses all season contact in the air that's going to be a problem it's only a penalty though you just taken off, taken out the lifter there, Argentina. Just got the timing half a second off. That was a nice kick, though. Looks like New Zealand are going to play here. Let's go. Yeah, very dangerous to take out the lifter, just as bad as the man in the air, Alvarez. Not choosing the scrum, which is interesting. Referee gets out of the way. Well done. 
claim of forward pass, but Sam Dixon's still bullocking forward. And there's a penalty against him. Not releasing. Yeah, it was a line ball, wasn't it? But Argentina, so good at just releasing their plan there and taking the breakdown. This is where they've been so accurate in their decision making. There's the late switch and the drop off. Sam Dixon overruns here. Yeah, that's a mile forward, so probably a bit of karma, you'd say. Yeah, have a makeup call. This is where Moneta is so dangerous. Instead of, I love the way where they place and they can mutualize in, in so many ways. He's not the biggest Five. man out there, but he's got the pace and the guile. Set. Just off to the right of that scrum, Pelandini will look for him. That he moves to the open side, on the move. Stepping inside one, gets the right arm free, circling back. Moneta brought down. Kiwi's thinking they got a steal back here, now, but there's about nine bodies in that ruck. Comes away. Sadzuk does what he does best. Got two tries in the semi-final, crucially. Their victory over the USA. Sit down, Gonzalez. Back pedaling inside the 22. Big hit coming in. The gap opens up. Palandini, one meter short. No. Moneta, looping past the Sadzik, sees an unmarked man, but throws it straight to the Kiwi defender. Crazy stuff here, and a broken tackle. Both sides scrambling. It's Cody Vai proving his wealth again. That's been seven on the floor playing the ball. Played seven on black. the floor by Sammy Dixon. Quick tap good. from a Sadzik. Two on one, out wide. Schultz decides to keep it. He's short. Gonzalez gets low and gets over. Try awarded. But what about that initial run from Luciano Gonzalez? Absolute monster. The way he's able to hit angles and use his upper body strength. This was earlier on. And then Argentina, the win, the hard way to Time score off. this try. When, on your time, on your time. Blue and white are back in this game. Conversion to come from Tobias Wade from the sideline. Just glancing to the left of that post. So what a start to this match. First half complete. Frantic action. Argentina 12, New Zealand 12 at the break. Argentina get us underway. Great left and a good take now you are from Rockley so New Zealand pushing it wide. Cody Vai. Not a lot of support out there. If he goes, he's got to get back in field, but he decides to go on the outside. Still going. Nice little incursion from him, forcing the Argentinians to get across. Nicole ships it. Dixon. Backed himself for a moment. There's the offload. Same off time. Leave it now. Rush did well just to gather and produce the ball. What is there? Enveloped by Argentinian defenders. No, stay back. Sir, Take sir. a step. Yes. Because he saw it in the boot. Oh, stepping oh, one. No. Joey Weber already a try in this match. Gives it back to what he thought. But he's out. Play on. Ball's out. Archie's on it. Off and running. Just slowing up, and he is Palandini over the top. Gonzalez brought down inside the 22. Great work from Wade to secure. There's three unmarked Argentinians. They're going to walk this one in, and it will be a Satsu under the post. They turn defense into offense, and they take the lead. And this is why they are so dangerous. Rockley saw is still on the deck. Just the ankle tap on, I think, just as he went to deck. Oh, no! The left knee just buckles yeah, underneath. That's why they were caught time. short. Bod Satsuk, he has been brilliant this weekend for Argentina. Done all the work in the middle of the field. He's been fantastic. Well, Satsuk happy with that, but none of the players, Argentina or New Zealand, will be happy. You all good? Happened to Rockley Thor, but he is up on his feet. Mineta just went to check on him, the Argentinian, but he's back on his feet. He's gone over for the kickoff. He's a tough man. 
No, maybe he's making a decision here. No, he's going to get Time lifted. Off. Brutal luck there for the Kiwis. But you got to admire the mental fortitude of the Argentinians. And what I like about their squad is that it is a squad. It's not a starting seven. They are so deep. So when players come on, there was no drop in intensity. Well, there's the 21-year-old Augustin Fraga, who's been outstanding at the key moments. Comes off the bench, provides a big physical impact. Won't get to chase this kick, but it's the world player of the year, Iskro, who lodges it loose. Again, Archie got an overlap going left. Coming short. It's time. Argentina spill it. Can New Zealand turn that into points? Cody Vai dancing. Leave it now, five. Fraga told to get his hands off it. Loose ball again. Argentina. On the deck. Decided to keep it in tight. Palandini loops around, creates the extra set of hands, and it will be a subject. We're going to have a little luck upstairs, but this would be his fourth try in two matches. Well, he looks pretty confident, doesn't he? On such a, he took to the air, he left the deck. I think he got this down by the naked eye. Oh, Almanac and Nicole coming across. Is it dislodged? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. I think he's got that. Thank I think you. that's okay. As does referee Rosier. He's awarded it. And what we're looking for is that he maintains contact with that ball right to the ground. I tend to agree with you. I think he did just enough. But what a presence of mind to lift the feet up so he didn't get dragged into touch. Nicole, it's a great effort. They still had a lot of work to get it to him, too. That is one of the better finishes you'll see. And, you know, these players practice this. They got the... The fall mats out, the high jumps mat out, and they practice diving for that corner flag. Much the delight of the Argentinians right now. Where Argentina are so good, they bring Escro on, and the last time they had a restart, he actually beat the lifting pot of Scott Curry. Do they go there again? The left foot of Palandini does the same tactic. Can they get the same result? It's loose. No, slight contact in the air, not in possession. Again, East Girl contacting in the air. Referee's going to let him go from that mark. Fresh legs on the field. A little bit of lack of precision from the New Zealanders. Some of these passes not going to hand. 12 Thank points you. the deficit. Plenty of time. Two minutes 40 left. Out wide and unmarked is Solo. He'll be fresh. He had Backwards. to miss a few games to discipline issue. His numbers is not backwards by the subject, so no issue there. And now Argentina sensing with a 12-point lead, they can maybe slow things up and go through the phases and try and tick this clock down. Mineta flips it out wide. Pellandini back in field. They're not going to get isolated. Hole opens up wide. Hat trick, baby. Osatsu for Ahadi here in Vancouver. Well, he's been the difference maker, hasn't he? In the second half, Osatsu. One loose pass, they had a massive overlap. He's the one that intercepted the ball, and he intercepted it towards his own goal line. So that's play on. He got himself back in play. A massive hole opened up in front of him. And Matias Osacho puts it to bed. Well, every bounce seems to have gone the way of the Pumas, but they've worked for it too, and Osacho has been so smart. They talk about smarts and the bounce of the ball. Well, Argentina are so adept at putting themselves in the right position to receive those 50-50 balls. Time off. Wade adds the extra two. We're going to have a sub here for New Zealand. You will have, you will have 10 seconds. And it will be the skipper, the Sam Dixon. He's off to the bench. Time Happy. On. Gaston Raval on the park. Little subplot. He is on 999 points. And his incredible it's career on the HSBC World Series. Black, so it's, a oh, it's been such a constant. Option. The Rock 
especially when they weren't going so well and they started yes. first initially building the big Santiago Gomez Cora's general on the field. And now when he injects himself, he's the closer. So he come out and keep everything. So you can see the way he's barking orders. He's trying not to smile, but these young boys listen to both these great sevens minds. Revolt and Gomez Cora. Scrum, 30 Set. seconds to play. 19 points to deficit. No, 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 say back, yes. Revolt. Out wide. Moneta. Half gap, but he's brought down. Keeps it alive. Iskro. Big hit there. On the 37-year-old, but he produces the ball. Raga. Backing himself, breaking one tackle. Tried to offload. There's going to be a final penalty to Argentina. And there's going to be a yellow card. Sajik wants a fourth, but the referee's going to slow it up. Sajik wants a fourth, but the referee's going to slow it up. 24 black. Well, it was tears of surprisement a couple of seasons ago, and now it's tears of joy of what he's built, Santi Gomez. And look the way he enjoy, in, injects himself with his team. They play for him, that's for sure. They all played their role, didn't they? Gonzalez was huge in all his various roles. They're going to go for one more here. Quick hands from Aneta. Revol, if he got in, he doesn't. But I wonder if they might give him the conversion. That's the icing on the cake. Graziano for Argentina. And the second half has been all Pumas rugby. They might not have hit their straps early, but the mark of a great squad has still been able to win when you're not playing at your best. And they've timed it. Absolutely brilliant, Argentina. Just at the bottom of your screen in the number eight jersey, Gaston Rival <laughs> trying to get two points. <laughs> To put him over a thousand. About the only thing that didn't go right for Argentina, your HSBC Vancouver Sevens champions. 36 points to 12 over New Zealand.